Our levels were killed by St. Paul Police Department, which is the deadliest to police department in the state of Minnesota. And what we've also noticed that this common bond we share has also put us in a situation where we are dealing with St. Paul Police Department holding on to records and data, information, you know, things that we need to work on our loved ones' cases so that we can get the truth because we know that all, all of our loved ones are investigated by the St. Paul Police Department. They did internal investigations back then. So you can't have the police policing the police. It just doesn't work, right? So we know that what they did, they always cover up for their buddies, their coworkers, their pals, their buddies, and relatives, because we have a lot of a lot of people who are just family working in police departments. So we're here today because we want to call out the system which allows St. Paul Police Department to blatantly disregard data practice requests, requests for information, requests for the return of our loved ones' items, even after an investigation has been closed, the altering of physical evidence, the destruction of physical evidence and videos, as well as audio reports. It is a pattern of practice. When my son was executed March 15, 2017, we got up here and I went inside of a gas station. And the uh, gas attendant showed me a button, a stolen knife button. And it was a picture of Marcus on that button. And I looked and I, he looked like, what is this? So this, this Marcus event makes me think most because I come up here. Because my son had been taken from me and to see someone on the butt that looks so much like my son. It was devastating for me and I, I remember looking at him and my family and everybody that came with me that day, I'll never forget it. It was March 19, 2017. It was like, he looks like he could be Courting up and Juwan's brother. No matter how quiet we be, no matter how we try to live right, it don't stop them from killing our kids. So I got to do what I got to do to feel good for me. And if people don't like what I'm saying, don't listen. Don't listen. People don't know our struggles. They don't know what we go through. They don't know that I have to get up, get myself together, leave my kids at home, come from Chicago to be here. Yes. They don't know the price I pay for justice. Yes. But just know it's priceless. It's priceless to me.